everybody, welcome to the 15th episode of Comics and Briefs, our show of news, reviews, and our store's top five comics sold. First up, we have top sellers this week. Tied for fifth place, we have Defenders number nine and Astro City number 50. At fourth place, we have another tie, JLA Doom Patrol Special, Invincible Iron Man number 596, and Avengers number 678. At third place, we have Flash Annual number one. Sitting at second is the fifth part of the five issue miniseries, Phoenix, The Resurrection of Jean Grey. And by a long shot, in first place, we have Dark Knight's Metal, number five. Next up is reviews. Just want to remind everybody, these reviews, these opinions, they're mine. So first up, we have Silencer, number one. It is DC's second offering of their new age of heroes that they, new line of heroes that they're starting. This one is drawn by John Romita Jr. with writing by Dan Abnett of Dan Abnett and Andy Lanning fame. Whatever happened to Andy Lanning? Um, anyway, this is a story about a woman who used to be a professional killer and she's getting sucked back into it even after having a family since the old days. And yeah, anyway, she has a really cool power where um, she can make sound goes silent, which is uh, pretty beneficial for someone that wants to kill people. Anyway, I recommend this one. It has very good art and the story is interesting enough to want to read the second issue. Pick it up. Next up we have Teen Titans number 16. This is written by Marv Wolfman, who is the new Teen Titans creator and since this story is all about Starfire, that's one of the characters that he created for that book. It has artwork by Tom Derenick and it looks really clean. I've been reading his stuff, or seeing his artwork in comics since all the way back in the Malibu days before Image started up. Uh, he's, he's definitely very uh, progressed as an artist, so I really like his stuff also. It's got a great cover, and it's all about one of my favorite characters in the Teen Titans, Starfire. Everybody's favorite character, let's be honest about it. So pick this one up, I recommend it because I'm a Teen Titans fan, and uh, you should be too. All right, next up we have Avengers number 678, part four of a 16-part weekly series. Am I right about part four? Holy cow, part four! <sighs> Anyhow, this one focuses on the human torch, Johnny Storm. And you get to see captions with him thinking things. At the end of the last issue, Quicksilver was getting his butt handed to him. I'm going to give you a hint at what's gonna happen at the end of this issue. All right, just did, I mean, is really what I'm saying. So at the end of the first issue, we had a Voyager introduction. At the end of the second issue, we had a building explode. At the end of the third issue, we had Quicksilver getting whomped on. And at the end of this issue, we have Human Torch getting whomped on. It really feels like I could have read this in 10 to 20 pages of one book. But, it's got really good artwork by Pepe Larox. So, if you're an Avengers fan, if you love Johnny Storm, this is definitely a reason to pick it up. Maybe the only reason to pick it up. All right, so for our last review, I've got Is This Guy For Real? This is a book about Andy Kaufman, written and drawn by Box Brown, who has done other biographies of Andre the Giant and if a game can have a biography, Tetris, the video game with all the geometric figures dropping in your face. So for those of you that don't know, I'm a very big fan of wrestling. And this book is almost entirely about Andy Kaufman's wrestling career. So having seen that as it was happening and all the stuff that has come afterwards, I kind of knew the source material. There were elements of his early life his stagecraft, and of course his death that are in this book. And there are elements of that I didn't know. But I wish this book would have dealt a little bit more than that, more with that rather than the wrestling aspect. That probably made up about 80% of the book. I'm really bad with math, but it was a lot of it. And it was very well done. 
Sometimes Box Brown talks about kayfabe a little too much, and he should be admonished for that. But if you don't know what that is, you probably don't care. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, this book was good. I did like it a lot. Box Brown has a very nice way of being able to tell a story so that it's very understandable. Sometimes the subject matter can be a little bit more complex than you actually think it might be. And he's really able to bite-size chunk it down so that you can swallow it easily. This book does not get a glowing review for me like I thought I was going to give it when I previewed it in the last episode of This Week in Comics. But I still recommend it. Pick it up. Good art. Good writing. And I love Andy Kaufman. And next up we have Industry News. So scouring the previews magazine that Diamond gives us every week, I saw that Tony Daniel would be off damage come the fourth issue. But Carrie Nord, a person I think is brilliant, is going to be taking over for at least one issue. During a writer's conference with photographic evidence that Christopher Priest and Jonathan Hickman were in attendance which is wonderful because we've been waiting for Jonathan Hickman to uh, come back to one of the main two. And Christopher Priest is fantastic. He's been doing Justice League and did Inhumans for Marvel. And I can only hope that maybe one or both might be taking on some X-Men duties because the X-Men books could sorely use it. And lastly, it was reported that on Wednesday, Stan Lee, 95 years old, was admitted to the hospital for shortness of breath and an irregular heartbeat. It seems that he was released and everything seems to be okay with him, even though he didn't attend a convention he thought he was still going to be able to make. So, get well, Stan. Thank you, everybody, for showing up to another episode. Go to your local comic store and pick up some of these books especially the Andy Kaufman one. I recommend it, especially if you don't know about the person. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit the bell for notifications and like it. Let us know in the comments what you think, and we'll see you next week.